Lumi meets quantum physics. You're not just a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Eight centuries ago, a mystic in Persia whispered truths about the universe hidden inside your soul. Today, quantum physics begins to echo his vision. Entanglement. Non-locality. The illusion of separateness. In this journey through poetry and particles, discover how Rumi's metaphors meet the mysteries of modern science and reveal that you may be the consciousness through which the cosmos becomes aware of itself. Adapted from the seven-book Rumi collection by Dr. Farid Mostaman. The Ocean in a Drop. Rumi's Metaphysics of Self delves into Rumi's metaphor that every individual soul contains the entire cosmos, uses poetry to illuminate the experience of unity with the universal consciousness. The metaphor he chose, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop, has become one of his most quoted lines. But it is more than a poetic flourish. It contains the seed of a worldview, one in which the individual soul is not a fragment of reality, but a mirror of its totality. We begin with a simple, provocative question. What if the universe is not out there, but within you? What if you are not a separate observer, but the place where the universe becomes aware of itself? For Rumi, the path to such realization was not intellectual but experiential. He taught that through love, longing, surrender, and silence, we dissolve the illusion of separateness. We come to see that the divine is not an external deity, but the living presence at the core of our own being. In his words, why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open, and knock and he'll open the door, vanish, and he'll make you shine like the sun? This mystical orientation echoes what quantum physics and cosmology are only beginning to suggest, that the universe is deeply interconnected, and that at some level, all things may arise from a single, unified field. In Rumi's language, this field is the beloved. In the physicist's vocabulary, it may be a quantum vacuum or a zero-point field, but the insight is remarkably similar. What appears as separation is an illusion. Beneath the multiplicity is one. Rumi's metaphysics of self rests on the principle of unity. Everything that exists is a reflection of the one being, refracted through the prism of time and form. Your soul is not merely connected to this being, it is an expression of it. Just as a single drop contains the salinity and movement of the sea, so does each human contain the essence of the infinite. Science may not use such language, but the implications of quantum entanglement hint at something similar. In an entangled system, two particles, once linked, can instantly affect one another across vast distances. This non-local relationship defies our classical understanding of cause and effect. It suggests that, at the deepest level, there is no true separateness, only appearances of division. Rumi anticipated this truth, not in laboratories, but in the laboratory of the heart. His poetry is filled with imagery of mirrors, flames, winds, and rivers. These metaphors aren't decorative, they are instructional. They point us inward, to the place where identity dissolves and a more extraordinary self emerges. He wrote, Don't you know yet? It is your light that lights the worlds. And again, the universe is not outside of you. Look inside yourself. Everything that you want, you already are. This is the language of a mystic who understood consciousness as the source, not the product of creation. For Rumi, the self is not the egoic shell we mistake for our identity, but the divine essence beneath it. To realize this is to awaken, to be reborn not as a body moving through space, but as awareness itself, unfolding in form. In this view, your body is a temple, your breath a prayer, and you are a spark of the great fire that birthed the stars. Rumi did not distinguish between sacred and mundane. He saw the divine in every atom, every gaze, and every motion of the reed in the wind. To awaken to this truth is to see with the eyes of the heart, and herein lies the bridge between science and mysticism. Both, at their best, seek what lies beyond the veil. Where science employs logic, observation, and theory, the mystic relies on love, presence, and surrender. But the destination may be the same, a direct encounter with the ground of being. In the modern world, individuals are often reduced to statistics, genetics, and brain chemistry. But in Rumi's universe, the individual is vast. You are not just the observer, you are the mirror in which the beloved sees itself. 
As we explore the deeper structure of reality in the chapters ahead, Rumi's voice will guide us, not as a detour from science, but as a complement to it. His insights remind us that consciousness is not a problem to be solved, but a mystery to be lived. That awakening is not a concept, but a recognition. That the drop, once it remembers the ocean, is never the same again. Rumi calls us inward, into the ocean within the drop. And from there, he shows us that everything we seek, meaning, unity, God, truth, has been within us all along. We spend so much of our lives thinking we're just drops, tiny, replaceable, alone in a sea of others. We compare, compete, and chase meaning as if it's always somewhere else. But what if everything we long for is already within us? You are the entire ocean in a drop. You are the one who reflects a deeper truth. That your true self isn't a fragment of the universe. It is the universe folded into human form. Every part of you, your joy, your grief, your love, your longing, is made of the same sacred substance that moves stars, stirs tides, and spins galaxies. You are not apart from the divine. You are an expression of it. Just like that drop of seawater, your essence contains the whole. The question is, do you live like you believe it? Because when you do, something shifts. You stop chasing approval and start trusting your own wisdom. You stop feeling small and start acting from your wholeness. You become less afraid of losing because you realize you were never lacking. So here it is, passed from poet to page, from old man to boy, from ocean to drop. You are not who you think you are, you are far more. You are vast, you are sacred, you are the ocean, and you always have been. If this video touched your heart, subscribe. It's inspired by the timeless wisdom in the seven book Rumi collection by Dr. Fareed Mostaman. Whether you seek healing, love, clarity, or growth, these teachings will guide you inward to the truth of who you are.